Hey guys, it's Mama J. Welcome back. Today is day four in our uh, series Countdown to Repticon, and I am so excited about the weekend show that's ahead. Now, if you're new here today, I uh, want to tell you that uh, every day this week I have been featuring a special animal that uh, you might see at a Repticon show. I tried to pick the five most common animals that you would see going to a show. So we've talked about bearded dragons, uh, leopard geckos, Pac-Man frogs, and today is snake day. So today we're going to talk about ball pythons. So I hope that you'll stay tuned and join me. I know that snakes is not something for everybody, and I totally get that. But I want you to uh, maybe take a different glimpse at a ball python and see if maybe you can find out something new that maybe you hadn't thought about before. And also stay tuned to the end of the video. I have a special surprise announcement. So let's get started. Now today we are talking about one of the most popular snakes in the pet trade, and that would be the ball python. And you can no doubt see why. They have the most amazing colors and patterns now. You'll see everything from a normal pattern, just like my snake Hershey here, that's kind of a brown and black pattern, to these crazy morphs. Uh, you'll see uh, pastels and uh, exanthics, albinos, uh, cinnamons, clowns, piebalds, blue-eyed blue cystic, and dis all kinds of names that you can't even imagine. They're all just beautiful snakes, and each one is truly unique. Now, to give you a little bit of background on ball pythons, they actually got their name from their behavior. When they are scared or frightened, they will curl up in a ball and hide their face, and that's a way that they can protect themselves. Now, you may also hear ball pythons called a royal python. And one fun fact about that is, a long time ago in the ancient days, royal people would actually wear these snakes like jewelry. So can you imagine a snake wrapped around you like a bracelet or a necklace? And people really were in awe of these type of snakes. Well, ball pythons are definitely one of my favorite type of pet snakes. And one reason is because of their calm and docile nature to them. They are a great first pet to have and uh, they're really good for children to hold because they're not fast moving. Now Hershey here is a juvenile ball python, but ball pythons can grow to be about five or even maybe six feet at the most. They are a thicker body snake. You can see that they have a little bit larger of a body than maybe a corn snake who's more of a thinner, longer snake. As far as enclosures, um, you can do something simple just like a big Tupperware bin, which actually I have done with Hershey and that has worked wonderful. It's also very inexpensive. Or you can do something uh, really pretty as an exhibition tank. Um, if you do use a glass tank, you may need to uh, alter that just a little bit though so that you can keep your humidity levels up. Now these guys are a tropical species, so you do want to maintain a humidity of about 50 to 60 percent. So having a hygrometer or something that you can measure that humidity is very important with these kind of snakes. Um, the other thing that you would need is uh, a heat mat. They do uh, regulate their body and they tend to like belly heat. I would recommend getting a thermostat though because one thing that um, you want to make sure of with snakes is that your heat mat does not get too hot because uh, snakes can be a little bit susceptible to burn. Another thing that you would want is a nice water dish so that they could soak in. And in times of shedding, uh, you can even put in a humid hide of a little Tupperware container with some sphagnum moss. That's another thing that helps increase your humidity a little bit in a time of shedding. Now, when these guys shed, sometimes that you will hear them being called in blue. If you've ever heard someone say a snake is in blue, what that means is that they're getting ready to shed and their eyes actually become hazy and you'll notice that their skin becomes more dull looking. And as they do um, go through their shedding time, it's really amazing if you've never seen a a snake shed, they actually uh, come out of their skin kind of like taking off a shirt. They sort of 
come inside out of it. And uh, if you get a perfect snake shed, it's a big, long, beautiful uh, piece of skin that's really interesting to look at. These guys are wonderful as far as pets because they eat once a week as babies. And when they become adults, you can even stretch that out a little bit longer. So if you go on vacation, it's great. You can feed your snake before you leave and you come back and they're great. Overall, you can see why these guys make amazing pets. They are come in so many beautiful colors. They have such a good docile personality and they're easy to handle. They don't become too large and the care and maintenance is just absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you've learned a little something new about ball pythons. So, on to our surprise, as I was saying. To say thank you to each of you for your support of me and just celebrating animals with me this week, I wanted to do a giveaway of a $10 Amazon card. Now, there is no strings attached whatsoever. You do not have to be a subscriber. Uh, you don't have to watch all my videos. You don't have to share my videos. All I need for you to do is just put a comment down below so that I will know your name. And that way, I can put each one of your names in a hat and draw that out. And I probably will do that sometime next week. I will let you know when exactly and uh, I will pick the winner and announce it on a video next week, and I will send you an Amazon e-card. So that way you can uh, put it towards whatever uh, supply that you might need or uh, put it towards directly an animal that you have because I know we all have different things. And I just wanted to encourage you as a hobbyist. I have been so blessed being a part of the hobby. I have enjoyed uh, being a part of the YouTube audience and getting to interact with you guys. That is a great joy of my day, uh, getting to read your comments and getting to know each one of you better. So thank you. Leave me a comment down below. And this is open to all of my friends, US, Canada. If you can receive Amazon, you can get in on this giveaway. So, thank you guys so much. Tomorrow is Cresta Geckos, and I'm sorry to get this video out so late tonight. It's been a long day, and I've worked a lot of jobs, but um, it's going to be worth it. And you guys have a great rest of your week. See you tomorrow.